Good evening, everyone. Hi. Hi, good evening. Mauricio, Marilyn, Magdiel, Elizabeth. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you guys? I'm guessing that today you feel very happy. <laughs> Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Magdiel. Uh, sorry, teacher. Today I will be as a listener because I have a, another meeting, teacher. All right. All right. Thank you for letting me know. If uh, okay. thank you for understanding. Yes. Yes. No problem. All right. Thank you for for letting me know about that. Yes, I understand. Yes. Uh, let's see. Tell me, people, how how do you feel today? That is Friday. Are you excited about about tomorrow? I don't think that's that's what uh I'm right now because he's gotta work tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mauricio. You have to work tomorrow. Well, yes, I'm going to work tomorrow, but I don't have any issue with that. Uh, so it's my my routine. Yeah. Um, about the clubs, I don't feel anything good because. For me, I I uh, I don't have any issues to to study every day until get a a, a great English that I is my goals right. Excellent, awesome. Yes. That's what we need. That's the more yeah. the kind of motivation that we need. That's the kind yes, of motivation. And today is Friday, but the body knows. <laughs> <laughs> right, and today is Friday, and we know it is Friday. It is Black Friday, actually. In oh the, yes. Uh, well, uh, here uh, we don't have the the great offer. We uh, if we could need to compare to compare with another um, countries, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for example, United States. I yeah. have uh, I have a lot of friends that live there there, and yeah. they told me, well, I got a, a new TV, 80, 88 pound, eighty eight eighty eight inch. Around ninety dollars. Oh fuck! And here is around thirty, uh, three hundred or something like that. Think more. <laughs> or, or more, yes, or more. more. And about, uh, I, I the around five days ago, I I bought a a, a new shoes, a uh, Jordan, and I spent around two hundred dollars. And today, call me my friend. Hey, my bro. I found your shoes around eighty dollars, and oh fuck! Wow. And you told me, and you tell me that now, man. Fuck you! No, 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 no! Don't mention that. I feel frustrated. I feel like a club and something like that. <laughs> just, just think about this for uh, two hundred dollars, and he got it for eighty, eighty bucks. So yeah, yes, I don't know. That's a big Damn. difference. Yes, but I, I, I want. I really wanted that shoes. And yes. is that okay? I don't have another option until I will live in the, until I live in the United States. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of shoes, I'm interested in these Nike these Nike shoes F1, but the ones that are red. Certified. Red. Mm, the the I like the that kind of shoes. And um, for example, the Air Force white, but uh, like a boots. With the with I don't know who do you say broche yes, broche yes, with right. Right. Boot, boot yes like. I yes. I like but it would like but it is is but nowadays it's too expensive it's two hundred dollars in kicks uh, I I try to find that 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 type of shoes but uh in another store another store doesn't have that that kind of shoes just kicks kicks in in La Rambilla, bamboo and Metro Centro only that. Yeah. Only, only those those stores, but it's expensive. I, 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 I thinking about um like uh buying in eBay or something like that. Yeah, because... I think it will be cheaper to get from eBay from eBay. Yes. yes. 
Yes, I, I've been I've been doing some digging, and uh, they are very expensive. I mean, I have the money, but I'm not going to pay a lot of money on shoes. No, that's too oh, much. Bro. Money. Yeah, and if you if we have another option, well, yeah, but no, that's too much money. But then, what is your, How was your day? Up uh, today was great. But for me, all day is is a, is a great day for, because uh, I'm blessed every day to wake up and feel good, and feel healthy, and with my family, and my friends, uh -huh. and I think that every day is good for me. Uh, even we have a a lot of angry customers or they, uh, feel feel frustrated about the the, the process or the system or the company. And today was started for Black Friday. We had Black Friday as well, and we have to to resolve a lot of issues with promotion or something like that. In and only that, but I I, I got a, a great new because our friends want a a a a a. a, a one uh at one one two hundred dollars to spend in a tour or in a restaurant or in a hotel and he told me hey bro do you want to 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 go with me um oh. i'm going and and probably december 17 i'm going to fly uh over volcano in salvador san salvador and right. yes in in uh ah avioneta Airplane. Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I don't know. Avioneta. I forgot how to say that. No, I have no idea. Um, no, I don't. I don't know. So uh, I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly. Small plane. Uh, wow. Small plane. <laughs> it's small plane. Yes. Yeah, it's small okay. plane. Wow. Okay. Yes, I'm going to fly for uh, around one hour over all country. And I feel good for I'm 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 feel nervous probably because I just fly but a uh, airplane and uh, when I when I travel to uh, Colombia but it's different because it's a big and we have we 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 go with around to it is more to, it is safe safer. Pro yes, it's different. It's different. It's another. Uh, I I don't like the the the. La alturas, height, height, yes. the height, height, the heights. I don't like the heights. I I feel very nervous about it. It's an experience, and and it's a it's a one thing that I I need to do, uh, before before I die. Wow, excellent. Well, yes. by that time we will not can well we will. We're not gonna be uh with the sessions anymore. By that time you mentioned, so. If you want, like, take pictures and send it, send it to me. I want to see okay. how, how, how the experience is. Oh. Yeah, that would be awesome to, to go, like, go around, okay. flying around the country. Okay. That would be a, a good experience. It's, 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 it's cheaper. Uh, it's around um, $160 per two person, one hour in our country. All right, all right. Yes, it's, it's cheaper, I think. For the experience, it's a great experience. It's a magnificent experience. I think that, and it's for free because my brother, my 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 friends won that in 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 the center in in Orjao. All right, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wanna I wanna do that but. I wanna also do the what's the this this for name I remember the name of it. It's when you when you jump off a plane or a helicopter you jump. Can't remember the, the name uh, of this. Uh para, para, paralines. Paralines. Is it parachuting or what? Parachuting is when you uh, go down without another without any any other things. Just just jump. But paralyzed, 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 something like that. It's when you you never disconnect your cable from the 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 the, the or something like that. 
Paralys, something. I can't remember, I remember the name. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna, but, uh, but, uh, I, wanna I wanna do that one and I wanna do bungee jumping, but bungee jumping is dangerous. That one is yeah. risky. Yeah, no, no, uh uh the parachute I, I never tried to do that. I consider I think, that I think it's parachuting when you when you when you are like like there's an airplane flying, of course, right? And you jump on the plane and you just with the parachute, of course. I don't think that's what the name is. Yeah. Well, yes, but I I never no 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 I don't like it I I consider that I I'm 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 gonna die before to jump. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let me find that. Uh, I can't remember. I can't really remember the name of it. Yeah, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. Parachuting. You gotta do. You gotta do it, Mauricio. <laughs> take a take a look. This is the one I was telling you about. This one. You gotta try it out, huh? Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that is, it, it, it's a good experience. I wanna try, I wanna try. Maybe sometime in the future I will. Yes, okay. but right now. Uh... <clears throat> my, my friend has an aglar in, in, in Ilopango. And he he provided me the the the, the uh, tour. As I mentioned, it's one hundred sixty dollars per two person, one hour around the country. And probably I can ask about that that tour as well. But yeah, I think that, that you have I think that you have to take a a little uh, trainer. How to pain, use that? Pain. Yes, and you have to pay. Is I don't remember as well, but I think that is around fifty hundred for 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 the 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 the, the trainer, the trainee, the trainer. Fifteen hundred. Yes. See. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's a lot yes. of money. Yes, but yeah, yes, but it's okay. Imagine you you have a a. a emergency in a, in an airplane when you travel to another country yeah, you right. feel good i don't know, I have problem i'm going to jump first boom <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's yeah. awesome that's awesome all right all right excellent very good let me see i got some listeners i got some people that just got that just joined thank you guys for joining i see mario fabricio javier i see eric right there katia thank you guys for joining uh, let me just confirm the ones that are going to be as listeners. Katia just confirmed. Thank you, Katia. Carla, are, are you going to be as a listener? Let me know. Marilyn. Miguel just told me that he's going to be as a listener. Mario, what about you? And uh, Javier? Are you there? Eric, of course, he's there. He's always there. But in the future, I will be as a listener. All right. I am in, in I am at work. You're working. I'm sorry that you're working. You're working. on a Friday night. Thanks, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay. Eric, are you there, Eric? For sure. Hello. Good evening. How how's everything? How is your Friday going? Mm, was a little tired in, in the afternoon because uh has a lot of a lot of traffic. Really? What time though? Um since since Mexicanos to to Mariana. Oh wow! It was but that's like that's track. every day, right? That's every day. That's every no, day. No, but it's only this yesterday and today. Yesterday I couldn't connect it because that because I I came maybe night past two fifteen was 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 very late to me and I was tired. I only had my 
my dinner and and I take a nap. All right, all right, take a nap, right? But now I'm I'm here. I'm early today. Ah, yes, that's good. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Very good. All right, we got a couple of things to do. Well, how do you feel? By the way, I haven't asked you how you how you feel, Eric. You feel good. Feel all right. For sure, I'm I'm ready. I feel happy. And that's good to know. I'm glad that you're you're okay right now. Yes, that's awesome. All right, let me check uh on uh Elizabeth. Are you there, Elizabeth? Fabricio, what about you, Fabricio? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I can barely hear you, Fabricio. Because the the fan, the ventilator. The fan, yes. All right. But well, how are you, Fabricio? How's everything? How is your Friday wrapping up? Oh, I think that it was a good day. It was a little tiring, maybe, and stressful, uh, because there were many things to do today. Yes, there were there were uh, many many. That uh, many things to do today, but apart from from that, I think that everything's okay. It's fine. I'm still waiting for the assurance company to give me an answer about the budget to repairing my car, but they wrote or send send them an email to the day, but I have no answer yet. You yeah, have no answer, all right. I'm sorry to hear that. That's pretty bad. But how, how do you feel today, right now? Right now, how do you feel? Just a little tired and hungry. And just uh, hungry about or, to... or angry? Hungry. Hungry. Right. Angry, no. Angry, no. I'm... <laughs> Not angry, right? I've always tried to, to be happy. Uh, yes, of course. A pesar de, a pesar de, alto. In, spite, in spite of, in spite of the fact that even though, even though you can say even though, even though the the circumstances, yeah, uh, even I, though the circumstances, I, yes, I always try to be positive, as as right. happy as I can. Yes, right. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. All right. For some reason today there are uh, over here. Thank you, Fabricio. We have uh twelve people. I don't know why, but I'm going to be working only with three people. That's Mauricio, Eric, and you, Fabricio. I have no idea about the rest. I asked, and they are going to be as listeners. So this is really, really worrying. Because working with three people is, 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 I mean, it's easy, but I have many people here with me right now. And it is not really good to be working only with three. Because I have more of them. All right, let me take attendance. Diego Jose Anites Leiva is not here right now. He told me that he will be joining us later on. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Good evening, teacher. I'm still working, but if I uh the chance to participate, uh we we'll do it. All right, you let me know, okay? Because uh, today we have a lot of things to do to practice as well, so. Okay. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez won't be joining us today due to a family emergency. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. I'm here, present. Julissa Amilet, thank you, thank you. Julissa Amilet Villalta, Villalta, no, not here. Carla Imani Anayancheta.
Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Then we have uh, Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you, Magdiel Sao Garcia Morales. No. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here, present. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Okay, let me check this out. Raul, Mario, and Kat. All right. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's begin. Uh, the first thing, well, we had, we had, I'm telling you, we had because we're not going to do it since not everybody is here. We might do it, do it on Monday. We had a pending activity. Uh, that was activity number six or number five from uh, the previous lesson. Like I said, not everybody is here right now, so we're not going to work on that. And uh, we're gonna work on, on something else. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what that is right now. Yes. Here we go. Take a look at this. This is today's presentation. Uh, intermediate number five, day number seven, uh, 19, or class number 19. Today is Friday and we know it. Let's get started by dealing with digital marketing. Today we have uh, some kind of review about digital marketing and about tag questions. We're going to deal with tag questions later. Right now, we're gonna be focusing on digital marketing vocabulary. There are some vocabulary and some terms. We're gonna take a look at their definitions and we're going to create examples using those definitions. There are around 20 words that I'm going to show you. Some of them, we already know them. There are some of them that we don't know. And uh, well, we're gonna practice and we're gonna learn some vocabulary related to digital marketing. Yes. Now, let's begin by providing a definition of digital marketing. Do you guys remember what digital marketing is? What is it? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, digital marketing, what is it? Hello? Uh, is the way when you can sell or buy products online? The way you can sell and buy products online. It is it is kind of like that, yes. Let's see, we got Mauricio and Fabricio. The other ones are now are not available right now. So guys, Mauricio Fabricio, what is your, your point of view about this? Well, sure, I think that uh, digital marketing marketing is everything that is related to uh, uh, Publishing on things. Uh, focus uh, to the process of 
sell something. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, uh, Mauricio, thank you for your opinion. Let's see what Mauricio en español, thinks. Lo podría definir mejor. Perdón, en I'm español sorry. lo podría haber definido mejor. Pero... <laughs> I, I know, I know. Algún día, algún día. <laughs> But we have, to, we have to try in English, okay? I'm sorry, Mauricio. <laughs> oh, that's okay, teacher. We gotta try in English. Mauricio, what do you think? What is digital marketing for you? Mauricio, are you there? No, he's not there. Okay. Let's continue then. Let me show you the next slide right now. Uh, we got another person. Ronald, are you there? Uh, yes. Okay, thank you for joining. Ronald, can you help us out? We're trying to uh, come up with a definition for digital marketing. What do you think or which do you think could be uh, a good definition for digital marketing? Uh, a, good def a good definition for me could be the... Um, uh, the strategy or the uh, uh the strategy or publicity that I, that I, and that ways that I, that I you could advertise a product or a service through digital digital channels uh, something like that it's like aha uh -huh, not the conventional not the conventional media but uh, through digital uh, digital media uh, like social media um uh, uh, search engines or or something like that yes all right all right that's a good definition and uh now with the with this digital era there are many people many advertisers or or great thinkers or people that come up with great ideas They are creating a, a different kind of publicity. I watched this video. My, a friend of mine, a friend of mine has some businesses. This friend of mine came up with an idea. I don't know if he copied the idea. I don't know if he did. If he did, it's okay. I mean, the idea is really good. And uh, he, he posted a video of his business on Facebook. Well, pretty much uh, what's up, uh, Facebook? Uh, Instagram, I think, and uh, other social media sites like TikTok and everything. So he posted the video of two guys stealing, stealing in his business, in his store. They were taking, they were taking uh, an item from the store. Yes. So that, 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 that type of video, you know, a video like that, in which they show a robbery or two people robbing a place or stealing for a, from a place you that gets that gets the attention of people real real quick so that video caught my attention and i was like wow somebody is, is, is stealing from this from, from my friend so let's see let's see how the video ends i said or i thought let's see how the video ends so i kept on watching the video and uh like almost in the middle of the video he came up with the publicity of the place. So it was not about the robbery, it was the publicity, but the robbery part or the, that part or that clip on the on the publicity was to, to get the people's attention. So I'm guessing that now with this digital era, people are, are gonna be coming up with different ideas, like very innovative ideas, creative ideas, like never seen before ideas. It's It's all about this. Eric mentioned that this digital marketing is about selling and buying products. Not entirely like that. It's more like, uh, it's yes, it's about selling and buying. 
but it's more like uh, showing, showing a product, the way they show it, how they show it, yes, what kind of, uh, how creative the, the, the ad, the publicity, the video, the picture, or anything is, yes. But now we're going to see some vocabulary related to digital marketing. There are many, many words that we can learn from this uh, field, which is digital marketing. Let's begin with a bunch of them. Look at this. All right, let me see. We got algorithm, we got banner ad, we got blog, bot, code, display ads, email automation. So those are those are uh, some some terms related to digital marketing. Let me see. We're gonna be reading one by one. We're gonna be coming up with uh, with some examples. All right. Let's see. Eric, read the first one. Okay. Uh, algorithm, a process or set set of rules that computers follow the performance a task yes thank you this one is is, is kind of difficult to pronounce at the end is is what comes the uh, what, what you face the difficulty algorithm 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 right reason reason like with the reason reason so it says here that it is a process or, or set of rules that computers follow to perform a task. Those are the algorithms, all right? Yes, very easy to understand. We know what this one is. Fabricio, read the other one, banner ad. Okay, teacher, banner ad, type of digital, uh, image uh, ad that can be placed across various websites. All right, look at this banner ad is a type of digital image ad that can be placed across various websites. It's it's not uh well it's a ban like a banner, but this banner is is a uh, an online banner right or a digital banner that you can send to different or that you can post on the different websites or pages or social media or anywhere uh, around the internet. Yes. Let's see, Ronald, read the other one. Ronald? Hello? Read so what? No, blog. Blog, okay. Uh, short for weblog. A blog is a web page or a website that is regularly updated with you writing content. Okay, written, written content. Written. Yes, I think we all know what a blog is. Short for weblog. A blog is a web page or a website that regular that is regularly updated with new written content. Yes. The most uh, famous page or web page where you can do blogging is the page that is called Blogger, right? Blogger is, is the most common or the most famous page or uh, web page where you can do blogging, yes. I remember back, back in, uh, in, the uni in my university days, I created a blog. It was a homework. It was some kind of a homework assignment from the university. I was uh, supposed to create a, a blog about, I can't remember what it was about. It was a grammar topic, but I can't remember which topic it was. Yes, uh, and I, I kind of created the blog. It was not a good one. It was back then, you know, like in 2014, almost uh, 10 years ago, nine or, or, or eight or nine years ago, you know, it, it, the internet was was uh was already there, but it was not as uh, revolutionary as it is now. But I I created a blog and uh, I think it's still there, but I 
can't remember the name of it. I would like to read it. <laughs> it would be funny to read. Yes. All right. Let me see. Mauricio, read the other one. Mauricio, uh, are you with us? Okay. Yes. Yes, I'm here. But about blog or bot? Bot, number four. Bot. Okay. So, uh, an automated program that visits websites sometimes also refers to as a graveler or a spider. All right. Thank you. A bot is an automated program that visits websites, sometimes also referred to as a crawler or a spider. Pretty much a bot is like a robot that a computer controls to go to different places. A bot is commonly used or, or uh, mentioned in video games. In video games that you hear, you see, or you hear the word bot very often to, to refer to a individual that is being controlled by a computer program or by the computer, right? It's not a person, it's the computer. Yes, so that's what, what a bot is. In this case, is that an automated program that goes to different websites to do different things, of course. But it's being used with the computer, you know? You program it and use the computer for it, yes. I did not uh, select this one, let, let me do it. Okay, the other one is campaign. Let's see, let's see. Eric, read campaign. Campaign, a series of advertising messages that share a them and market a product or service. All right, campaign, a series of advertising messages that share a thing and market a product or service. Yes, that's what a campaign is. Have you ever seen a campaign online, people? Uh, probably yes. It's like a short, short advertising that we can check when we open the window or our browser about. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. It's pretty much everywhere. That is, that's why it is called campaign, because it is everywhere. Yes. And uh, people or or the advertiser are, advertisers are posting it very often in different places, and uh, they are uh, doing it constantly. That's why it is a campaign. You know, that's why it is called campaign, because they do it, they, they, they send out the ads, like, very constant. Yes. Thank you for reading, Eric. Mauricio, read code. Code, the language used Languages. to build the languages used to build a website. The most commonly used languages in web design are HTML, CSS, JS, and PHP. All right. Thank you. Well, I have no idea about coding. I know a cousin, my cousin, a cousin of mine, he lives close to me. This 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 person knows about coding because he's a computer engineer. He likes this. He likes coding. He likes programming. And I really don't understand when when he's doing that, I just see a bunch of bunch of letters, a bunch of numbers that I don't really understand. Yes. It says the code the language is used to build a website. The most commonly used languages in web design are HTML, CSS, and uh, J J JS, and PHP. I'm guessing that uh, JS is for Java, right? I don't know. And this one, the, the CSS, I remember this one because he used to use it, but I can't remember the name of it. Yes. Do you guys know about coding? Or about the languages to 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 web designing. No, 
Do you know anything about coding? No, teacher. No, so no. much. Not so much? So you know a little? <laughs> yes, but, but I'm learning um, on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yes, when uh, I was I was watching a video uh, the last time. Uh, and how can I use, for example, if say if I wanna read some book um on Google, but suddenly pop up the advertising or another message in. And you can't read that. Uh, you can go to the the on a specific page in Google, and you copy the the link where you are looking when you are uh, trying to read this book. And after copying this uh, web website, and this this website works uh, uh, clean clean the clean the book uh, the the advertising or messages or bot that appear in this in this moment and after you can read the book uh, mm -hmm. without advertising or or messages something like that. Oh, all right. That is good. Yeah, um, I I think is coding is interesting, but I think it's too difficult for me. No, it is interesting, but that's it. That's it. Yes, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like like pay or even for free. I wouldn't take a, a course about coding. It's not my yes. my thing. <laughs> I said the same, but uh, I. I'm really? starting to, yes, I'm starting to, to study Excel, mm -hmm. and, and in Excel I can use uh, a lot of uh, codes or formula, formula. How can I say formula? Formulas, 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 and it helps me to helps me to make my my taxes quickly that's why uh, i'm learning about that yeah the, even even the, this company let's go for a view and the in support they have excel courses because excel is a very essential tool or a very essential uh yeah tool that a lot of companies are using like excel was not really important back i mean it was important but it's not as important as it is right now nowadays because uh, I used to work at this company, right? And uh, they didn't use Excel. And now they're working on Excel. Just everything is on Excel. Even the, the Minet didn't used to work on, on Excel. Now everything they do, they have to do it on Excel. So Excel is like like all over the place, very important. And uh, we should try to, to learn at least the basics I don't really know much about Excel. I, if I read the options, I would do some, but like the formulas and the, the whole thing, I don't know anything about that. Yes. But I think it's, it's very important to know about it. Even in the cooperative has some courses about that, about Excel. For sure. Uh, before that, I will try with uh, Excel. Yeah, you should. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Let's see. Fabricio, thank you, Eric. Uh, Fabricio, read a bell or read display ads. Okay, teacher, display ads. Ads on a display network that include many different formats, such as images, flash, video, and audio. All right. Display ads, ads on a display network that include many different formats such as images flash video and audio all right we got the last word over here Ronald, can you read it Ronald?
Rona, can you read it? Let's see if somebody else has joined. Mauricio, read again. Teacher, may I read? Okay, yes, read. Let me start. Thank you, thank you. Uh, which one? The last one. Email okay. automation. Email. Okay. Email automation. A marketing system that uses software to automatically send emails based on definite triggers. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Email automation. A marketing system that uses software to automatically send emails based on defined triggers. Yes. Have you ever checked your email and you have seen a lot of uh of emails, of course, <laughs> emails from different companies that you like, like what? How did I get this? Or why did I get this this email? From different companies. Have you? Guys? Have you seen those emails? Like spam? For sure. Right, right, yes. Uh oh. I create I created I created my email a long time ago, and uh, I think I have more than 10,000 10, spam emails over there. A lot of those. A lot. Uh, let me help you out with the, the, with the pronunciation right here with this word uh, automatically. Yes. When you, see, when you see the word, when you see the word that ends, I mean the, the adverb, when you see an adverb that ends in this or that has the Kali, the Kali ending, let me help you out with some of them. Uh, this ones, take a look at those three of them. If you see, or if the, the adverbs have the Kali ending, the pronunciation is Kali, Kali, automatically, practically, basically, specifically, oh, grammatically, right? It's not Kali, automatically, practically, it's practically, basi basically, specifically, grammatically, psychologically, right? All of those. All right, very good. And look at the example, the activity of the activity. Choose a term and write an example of it. Guys, let me give you one or two minutes to do that. Choose any word, any term, whatever or whichever one you want, and write an example. At the end, at the end, you are going to share that example with it, with the entire class. Please confirm, confirm that you have finished the example. Go ahead, go ahead, write the example, write the example. Confirm with this, use this to confirm. Because we gotta continue with the other ones.
Guys, let me know. Let me know. I'm waiting. Alicia, thank you. Who else? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Eric, Mauricio, thank you. Ronald. Okay, we, we got it. Let's move on. Thank you, Eric. Excellent. No worry. We have we have many, many words, many terms that we are gonna study. There are uh, more, all right. Over here. They some of them are easy to understand. All right, let's take a look. We got email marketing, Facebook advertising, form fill, hashtag, landing page, rankings, search engine, and social media. Let's begin with email marketing. Fabricio, help us out with this one, with the first one. Fabricio. Oh, Fabricio. Mauricio or Fabricio? Yes. Yeah. You always get confused, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I said Fabricio. Okay, okay, teacher. Email marketing. The use of email with the goal of acquiring sales, customers, or any other type of conversion. Yes. Email marketing, the use of it. The use of email with the goal of acquiring sales, customers, and or any other type of conversion. Yes. Very good. We know this one is it's just the, the, the marketing through emails. Okay. Use emails to market your play, to, to, to market your products. Now, Mauricio, read Facebook advertising. Well, Facebook advertising. Facebook, Facebook allows advertisers to reach its users through their own neighbor, na network. Ad right, network. Right. Ad network, yes. Facebook allows adverti advertisers to reach its users through their ad network. Now, like on Facebook, you see many, many ads, especially when you are watching reels or videos, you're gonna run into many of these ads. Yes. There's a lot of those. All right. Eric, read form fill. When a visitor has filled, fill out a contact form on a website. Yes. When a visitor has filled out a contract form, sorry, a contact form on a website. That is form fill. Yes. yes. Pretty much when you're, the, you're just providing your information to the website, you're uh, completing a form, a contact form with your information on the website. The other one we know, we know, we know it, it's very famous. Uh, let me see if Ronald is there. Ronald, are you there? No? Or anybody else besides Mauricio, Eric and Fabricio? No one else. Okay, let's repeat then. Uh, help us, Fabricio. Fabricio, hashtag. Hashtag. A phrase beginning with the symbol. Uh, hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Used in, a, in social media as a way to portray in content for users to find. Yes. This is numeral, right? Numeral. Numeral. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Common, commonly, commonly known as hashtag, a phrase beginning with the symbol numeral used in social media as a way for tagging content for users to find. 
it says here as a way for tagging content, you can tag anything, anything, anything trending. You can just write the numeral to, to create a hashtag and that's how it begins. Yes. Eric, read a landing page. The destination web web page I use a user land lands on after clicking on a link. Yes. The destination web page a user lands on after clicking on a link. Yes. That is the landing page. Rankings. Mauricio read rankings. For where a website appears in in search engine results. Oh, I'm sorry, I have the Microsoft up. Sorry, rankings a general term for where a website appears in search engines results. Yes. A general term for where a website appears in search engine results. Yes. For example, if you type, if you type, I mean, on the Google bar, if you type Apple, it's going to take you to the main Apple web page because that's the ranking, right? That's the ranking of the web page. If you type, for example, uh, Nike shoes, it's going to take you to the main web page of Nike. Right now, if you type anything else, it's gonna take you to different web pages. Yes, for example, let's have a let's have an example right now with the with, with ranking. Just go to Google real quick. All right, we are on Google, and let's type English. Let's look at this. Can you see it? English. <laughs> the exorcist the creyente. What? It's the exorcist the creyente. It's a good movie. Okay. It. It's a good movie, actually. Uh, I don't like that uh, that gender. I think I think that is not obviously it's not real, but I, but I it, it never happened. Exactly. It's, but it yes. is it's a good movie, actually. You gotta watch it. Oh no! All movies about terror or something like that has the same the same uh, uh, thematic. Yes. Yes. And in the middle of the position, oh, I have to pray. Uh, sister, I have to pray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Well, the movie is good. The movie is good. I was looking for. I I I watched it. It was good. All right. Look, I just typed English grammar. We don't know, we don't know any, well, I don't remember any English web page right now, but if I type English grammar, the ranking is going to show me one of the most uh, important according to the ranking, yeah? British Council over here. Then we got a perfect English grammar, and then we have a bunch of uh, of, uh, of web pages. Actually, this one is, is good. Yeah, you, should, you should look it up. That one is good. All right. <laughs> the movie, awesome movie. Watch it. I think it's a franchise. It's the Exorcist franchise. There are like six or seven movies from the 70s. Okay, we're back. May I read? Yes. Search Engine is the next one. Okay, I think I'm never going to forget this one. Uh, a program that searches an index on, of information and returns results to the user based on corresponding keywords. It was a, a, a motor, right? I yeah. remember. <laughs> yes. I remember. It was a talking about cars and all of that. Yes, I remember. Search engine yeah. is like Google, Yahoo, Ask, all of those search engines. A program that searches an index of information and returns results to the user based on the car on corresponding keywords, right? Yes. 
we just did that with, with the English grammar. You could see that. The other one is, uh, we know this one, social media. Let me read forms of electronic communication, such as websites for social networking, through which we, through which users create online communities to share information, ideas, personal messages, and other content, such as videos, videos, images, reels, and a lot of things. Okay, very good. Uh, the next, the, the same thing, activity, choose a term and write an example of it. Let me give you one or two minutes to do that. Choose any word or any term and uh, try to write an example of it. And again, confirm with the thumb. Teacher, I have a thought. Yes. When we are talking about like social media, we say on, for example, I wrote you on WhatsApp or on Facebook. We have to use on. Yes. When we are talking about we use we use on we use on on Twitter okay. on Instagram on Facebook on TikTok on the computer. Well, that depends. That depends. I mean, if if we are talking about uh something that is in the computer, it's in the computer on the computer, depending on the context. If I if I say if I say that the the can for example, look at this can of soda. I place it over here, take a look, it's here. It's on the computer. <laughs> like literally on the computer, right? It's... But for example, but... if you want to say that that is a file on the computer, on the desktop of the yes, computer? Yes, yes. On the desk on the, on the which one which, which one is it? Yeah, the desktop, yes. Yes, okay. yes. Is on. on. Okay, thank you. That's how we use them. Guys, do you have an example? You haven't confirmed. Eric has got it. Do you have, Mauricio, do you have it, Fabricio? Ronald, I don't know. <laughs> no, teacher, I'm working on it. You're working on Hello? it, right? Are you back with us, Ronald? Uh, yes, uh, uh-huh. Okay. We, are, we are writing an example with one of the terms. You can choose any term and you can, uh, you can write an example. <laughs> Confirm with the thumb that you have finished. This thumb, let me show you. This one over here. So that we can move on, on to the next one. Audio, excellent. Excellent. What about the other ones? Eric has confirmed. Mauricio has confirmed. Mauricio.
Mauricio, Fabri, Mauricio, ¿no? ¿no? Mauricio, ¿no? Mauricio, ¿no? ¿Qué pasa con ti? Just, I, I, it's, it's to, to formulate one sentence. It's one sentence, and then at the end, we're going to share them. Because we, we have to, uh, we got to take a look at more vocabulary. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're going to share the examples at the end. Yes. Oh, wait, you shared it in the, in the Zoom chat for the new. Uh, just. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. The example is perfect. Let's see more, more vocabulary. Ronald, help us out with the first one. The first one, Ronald. User interface. User interface, UE, the area with, with which a user interacts with something through a digital device. Right, right. Thank you, thank you. User interface or user interface or UI, the area with which a user interacts with something through a digital device. Yes, that's what the user interface is, all right, or the, the UI. Very good, very good. Thank you for reading. Fabricio, read user experience or UX. Okay, user experience, UX. UX refers to how a user interacts with a, with a website or app where they click, which pages, which pages sorry, they visit. A good UX drives repeating users and engagement. All right, all right. UX refers to how a user interacts with the website or app where they click, which pages they visit. A good UX drives repeating users and engagement, user experience. Yes. All right. Then we have webinar. Let me see. Mauricio, read webinar. Webinars. Webinar. An online seminar used... Yes, we lost him. Is it me or Mauricio? Guys, can you hear me? Yes, for sure. Yes, for sure. Okay, I think Mauricio is gone. <laughs> Mauricio, are you there? We cannot hear you. Yeah, he, he's got a Wi-Fi problem. He's gone. <laughs> okay, Eric, read webinar, Eric. Webinar, an online seminar used to train, inform, or sell to a, an audience of Weavers, how design designed design it up to view the presentation. All right, an online uh, seminar used to train informants or, or sell to an audience of viewers who signed up to view the presentation. Excellent, thank you for reading. Then we have customer experience. Stephanie, are you available for this one? Yes, I'm here. All right, help us read, please. Thank you. Okay, customer experience. All interactions and feelings a customer has with a business brand, good or service. Thank you. All interactions and feelings a customer has with a business brand, good or service. What's the difference between customer experience and user experience? Is that your user is on the web page? And the uh, uh, customer experience is, is with, uh, with well, it, it involves more things, the physical store or the face-to-face -face, uh, interaction and all of it, yes. Chargeback, chargeback. Fabricio, read chargeback. Chargeback. Of course, when a person disputes a financial, financial transaction, made on their credit card, debit card, or online wallet. 
Yes, occurs when a person disputes a financial transaction made on their credit card, debit card, or online wallet. Chargeback is when the person is one is asking for the money returned. They want they want the company or yeah, pretty much the company to check out why they have that financial transaction on the credit card, debit card, or no, or online wallet. So a chargeback is that they are asking for the money back. Yes, that's what it is, the chargeback. So, uh, Ronald, are you there? Customer life cycle, Ronald. The last one. Customer life cycle. The various stages a customer goes through for duty, during, and after a transaction. Yes. The various stages a customer goes through before, during, and after a transaction. Excellent. Now we're gonna do this the same. As you can see, activities choose a term and write an example of it. Yes. Choose any of the terms here and write an example. Again, we're gonna share those examples right after we're done with the vocabulary. Go ahead, one or two minutes. Oops. What time is it, guys? Can you tell me the time? I I cannot see the time right now. My cell phone is not here with. I don't have my cell phone with me. It is oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was joking. It yes, is I know, I know. Night past to fifteen. No. Oh. Really? For sure. It's very late. A quarter past nine, right? Oh, yes, I can see the time now. Over here with the message. Confirm when, when you're done with the example, please. Give me a minute. All right, I'm back. So, are you guys done with the example? so that we can continue working on the next forms. What is is you done? Eric is done. All right, I think we got, okay, there are two more. I thought well, that, was, that was the last one, but there is one more. Opt-in, opt-out, pay, pay per sell, remarketing, targeting, retargeting, and uh, tripwire. All right, let's begin. The first one is opt-in. Eric, read opt-in. Okay. Up them, uh, allowing a person to give their permission to be contacted in, contacted in the contacted, future. Yes.
Yes, thank you. Allowing a person to give their permission to be contacted in the future. That's opt-in. Do you understand it? Do you get the, the, the definition? Yes. Sure. Yes. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Ronald, can you read opt-out? Okay, he's not there. Fabricio, go ahead. Which one, teacher, paper, cell? No, the second one, opt, opt out. out. Okay, opt out. Providing a person the choice to not be contacted in the future. All right. That is the opposite of opt-in, yes. Yes. Then we have a paper cell. Mauricio is now back to the uh, he's there. Mauricio, <laughs> what happened, Mauricio? Oh, I'm sorry, I got a power outage, but um, a blackout, was... yes. Oh, I'm sorry, so that's okay. That's okay. Can you read the uh, paper cell? Yes, PPS? thank you. Paper, paper cells, PPS, an advertising or marketing model in which. The seller pays a fee for each cell generated by the marketer or advertising network. All right. Thank you for reading. An advertising or marketing model in which the seller pays a fee for each cell generated by the mark by the marketer or advertising network. Yes. All right. Then we have remarketing. Uh, Stephanie, are you available for reading? Yes. Thank you. Remarketing. A marketing strategy where existing customers are targeted to make new purchase, purchases. Okay. Easy, right? Marketing strategy where existing customers are targeted to make new purchases, right? Yes, that's remarketing, attracting the same people again. Yes. Uh, let's see. Ma Fabricio read. Fabricio, okay. Fabricio read targeting. Targeting the process of identi identifying a, spe a specific audience for which to deliver a message. Okay. The process of identifying a specific audience for which to deliver a message. Yes, that's what it is. Specific people that we 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 choose, right? Very good, very good. Thank you, uh, Eric. Re retargeting. Retargeting, a marketing strategy where ads are targeted at at people who had previously visited a website or engaged with the specific content content without having taken a specific action a marketing strategy where ads are targeted at people who have previously visited a website or engaged with a specific content without having taken a specific action yes the other one i, I think is new to you guys tripwire tripwire let me read this one to you. An attractive, low-priced offer for an item or product whose purpose is to convert a potential customer into a natural customer or to re-engage with past customers. Or it's what we call ganga, right? Or oferta. Yes. Power out, outrage. Outrage, yes. How do you say? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, that's what it is. Thank you, Mauricio. Yes. And also, when, uh, when, uh, when there is no electricity around the city, it's a blackout. The whole thing goes, goes black. It's a blackout. All right. Thank you. Okay, very good. 
Uh, guys, we're gonna do the same thing here. No, but we're gonna do it with these ones. This one, with these ones. These are the last ones. Allow list, block list, clickbait, uh, spam, and chatbot. Let's see, Ronald, are you there? Can you help us read the first one, Ronald? Okay. Uh, allow list, permanently, permanently white list, a list of identifiers to, such as names, emails, or IP addresses that are explicitly allowed to access a specific content or systems. Yes, thank you, thank you. Look, allow list or formal, formal, uh, formerly known as white list, a list of identifiers such as names, emails, or IP addresses that are explicitly allowed to access specific content or systems. Then we have the opposite block list. Eric, read block list. Block list, formerly blacklist, a list of identifiers such as names, emails, or IP, AP addresses that are specifically, explicitly Please blocked be. from from accessing a specific content or systems. All right. At least of identifiers such as names, emails, or IP address addresses that are explicitly blocked from accessing a specific content or systems. Clickbait. Uh, Mauricio, clickbait. Okay, clickbait. Sensation, uh, sens sensationalized. A sensationalized or misleading headline used to attract attention and encourage people to click through for more information. Have you ever gone through these clickbait people? I have. I have. Yes. They, they are uh, liars. A sensationalized or misleading headline used to attract attention and encourage people to click through for more information. You see like uh, uh, something there, like a promotion or a tripwire. You find it interesting and cheap. You click on it, but then what you're clicking on disappears and it sends you to the web page. And on the web page, you don't find the same item you find all the items they are selling. So it's it's a clickbait. You know what bait is? Bait, the word bait. Yes. Yes? I don't teach you. Sebo. Is when a dog attack us no bait you no mordida no, no. Es, te es, muerde that one is bite ah bite bite ah, bite you bite. okay clickbait is is like uh when you <laughs> when you see some in some peak in at the at the beginning of the video but is 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 anything about it for example a note or something like that and you click on the video uh hope to watch that watch it but the video is about another thing, for example. Yes, yes. Let, let me show you, because bait is, is very, very uh, common. And actually, a lot of people use it on the, on the social media. The, the, the Z generation, they use bait a lot. They, they always, when, uh, when they post a picture or when they uh, comment on something, they say, era bait. It's bait. When I when I bite, but but bite, but it's bait. Just let me show it to you right now. This word, what what it is, what it means, very interesting. Bite is the verb. Okay, don't forget about about that. Bite is the verb, as you can see. Bite, but I know not this. I wanna see the the, the synonyms. 
when you bite. Nothing, I'm getting nothing. <laughs> Let me just uh, bait. Look, can you see it now? For sure. That's what it is. Yes. I was thinking another thing. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Look, bait. Bait. That's the pronunciation for the word. Carnada cebo, right? That's why it's click, click bait. It's not click como de, de, de carnada. You go to the website, but you don't find the same the, the same offer. It's just it's it's a bait. Yeah, they are lying, lying to us. That's not good. Lying is not good. All right. Let's see. Okay, we got spam and a chatbot. Who read click? Ah, okay. Eric, read spam. Spam. Unwanted and un unsolicited messages. Unsolicited. On solicit that word is a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> Unwanted and unsolicited, unsolicited messages. That's what it is. All right. Yes, that's spam. We know what spam is. We we find it everywhere. Emails everywhere, many places. Right. Thank you for reading. Let's see. Uh, Fabricio, read the last one. Chatbot. A software app designed to stimulate human-like text conversations with people. All right. A software app designed to stimulate, to stimulate human-like text conversations with people. That, the most famous thing of, uh, related to this is, which one is people? I can't remember the name of it. Uh, what's the name of it? It, it went viral a couple of weeks ago. The name of the app that gives Bing? you the answers of everything. The EA what? Bing? I, what? I can't remember right now. I can't remember right now. All right. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to share the examples that you have. Let's begin with Mauricio. Mauricio, share the examples that you have. I think you have three. Share them all. Okay. Uh, for example, about um, 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 the 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 last one for me is clickbait uh, that I mentioned before. When you go to the YouTube and want want to to see the the video about the first picture that you do you see and, and when you play the video you don't see anything about the, the picture it's about other thing about news or something different but it's yes. not the same yes. but it's not the same that is how for me it's a, it's a clip it's a good example nowadays all uh, uh, youtubers use that option to increase the the, the visitor, visitors and and to increase uh yes um, uh, the, the the incomes about the channels and, and something like that yes, and cool. i don't know if you can show me the, the 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 previous terms please the what sorry the previous terms the previous ones ah yes okay um Well, <clears throat> it out 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 uh, is like a I don't know it's the same things when you when you got a, a pop up uh, on the screen at the beginning of the page as a uh, use cookies or fill it out your information to to receive advertising every day about the page i don't know if the same things and sometimes you got emails 
uh, about the page that you visited before, because you authorized authorized the, the 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 information that you email your phone or something like that, and you 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 get some advertising uh, at the up of the, your screen, like uh for example um the some pages uh mention. For example, I recently visited a, a page about news, and I I receive every day uh, the 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 weather or news about Arabia Saudita or Israel or something like that. But I don't remember that I I provide I authorized get my information. I uh, I think that is a out out mm -hmm. yeah. for me. I, I think that or yes. And the the last one, please. This one. Yeah. Um. No, the other one. This one. Yes. Uh. Uh. Rankings, uh, general terms for where a website appears in search engine results. Uh. I think that is is, is that okay when you. When the Google shows you the the the, the top of their of the of the pages that you visit, but sometimes I think that the pages pay the Google to be in the top, and and the page doesn't have the 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 best result about your your question probably say that, and I think that is a a, a rankings, but. Is not not always is a a real or is trust trusted the the, the the ranking. I always try to to find another answers, or or nowadays I try to find the the the, the answers on TikTok or YouTube, because a lot of uh, YouTubers or TikTokers <clears throat> mention it. Okay, the company doesn't pay me anything money to provide that information to you, and I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to be honest with you that that products or that, uh, that benefits is true or that information is true, and I didn't receive any any money for the company, or for that reason I I prefer to to watch some videos about YouTubers or about TikTokers. To find information, not just focus on on ranking about Google. Yeah. Only that. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you for sharing your examples, Mauricio. We got it. We got more things here, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's see. Uh, Eric, share your examples, please. Eric, can you share your examples? For sure. Uh, could you show me the first page, please? This is the first one. Yes, and the first example is display ads. Ads on a display network that includes many different formats, such as image, flash, video, and audio. Um, I could see I could see that on on YouTube, especially in YouTube. So sometimes I'm listening music uh, on my job, or I I'm watching something uh, about English. In in previously in the middle of the video, I can see. Uh, ads about another things that I don't don't looking for in that moment yes. and that is I, I consider display ads what about this one and the is hashtag for example Today I could see on on Facebook um, several uh, stores that the hashtag is uh, Black Friday. Uh, today I I could see only 
uh, advertising ads with hashtag Black Friday. It's it's is a phrase beginning with the symbol used in social media as a way yes. for take content for user to find that 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 is it's common a specialty on on instagram okay. you wanna you want uh, followers you put uh, the hashtag with some words and that appear yes all right yeah i'm sorry to tell you this but time time is running running well we are running out of time so we're gonna keep going and we're gonna do some review about that questions for the last 20 minutes and over here i got the uh, my connection is stable all right Guys, are you with me? Positive tag question. As you can see, the tag question is positive over here. The tag question is positive. We're dealing with tag questions. Yes. All right. Uh, okay, let me see. When the, the statement, as you can see over here, a negative statement plus a positive tag question. You aren't a teacher, are you? He isn't crazy, is he? He wasn't relaxed, was he? They weren't late, were they? You don't speak French, do you? You didn't study for the test, did you? We don't have a example for third person here. You haven't been here all week, have you? You hadn't done before then, have you? You won't fail the exam, will you? You can't drive a car, can you? You couldn't do, do it for me, could you? You mustn't say anything. Uh, sorry, we mustn't say anything, must we? Although mustn't is not really common, I, would not, I wouldn't use it, guys. I wouldn't use mustn't. It's not a very common contraction. You shouldn't be so busy, should you? You wouldn't stop me, would you? Statements uh, using barely, hardly, neither, no, nobody, none, nothing, and seldom are treated as negative statements. Nobody went to the meeting, did they? Nothing is ready, is it? All right, let's carry on. Now, when we have a positive statement, the tag question will be negative. As you can see over here, you are a student, aren't you? He is very busy, isn't he? He was happy, wasn't he? They were surprised, weren't they? You speak English, don't you? He studies Spanish, doesn't he? You studied for the test, didn't you? You haven't studied all week. Sorry, you have studied all week, haven't you? You had a ride before the left, hadn't you? You will pass the exam, won't you? You can speak two languages, can't you? You could do it for me, couldn't you? You must be must be patient, mustn't we? Sorry, we must be patient, mustn't we? You should go, you should go now, shouldn't you? You would like a new job, wouldn't you? Exceptions, I am late, aren't I? Let's go home, shall we, or will we? It's just a quick, quick, quick review, all right? And uh, over here, look, we got from one to eight and from nine to 16, yes. We're gonna go one by one. Let's see who wants to read the first one. Me, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. David and James are both going to take a holiday soon. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
aren't they? Or won't they? Yeah, no, no, no. okay. Okay. No, no, because it's a, David and James are both. Are. Are is the auxiliary. Okay. Are both going to the going to take a holiday soon? Aren't they? Letter letter B is the correct over here. Yes. Letter B. Let me choose the right. All right. Number two, how I became. Who wants to read how I became? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Excellent. I want to practice. <laughs> You're fine, I guess. How I became the 50th? Yes, 50th. 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 American state in 1959. 1959. Mm. Doesn't it? No. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, didn't. Uh -huh, didn't there it? You go. Didn't it? Didn't it? It because we mean... have the verb became. Became is in the past form. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Number three. Eric, Mauricio, Fabricio, Ronald. Number hey, three. Teacher, you work at the new department store downtown. Um. Don't you? Uh, you know. Don't you? Yes. Don't you? Very good, very good. Thank you, Fabricio. Number four, Mercury and Venice. Anyone? We got Eric, Mauricio, and Ronald. Okay, Mercury and Venus are closer to the sun than Earth. Uh, aren't they? Aren't they, yes. Aren't they? Mercury and Venus are closer to the sun than Earth. Yes. And then you see it is R and A. Yes, you got it, you got it. Mauricio, read number five. You usually buy your lunch at the company cafeteria. Don't you? Don't you? You usually buy your lunch at the company at uh, the company cafeteria. Uh, yes. Number six. Ronald, can you read it? Me teacher. I can try. Okay, go ahead, Mauricio. Yes, you can try. I don't know how to say me, but I'm sorry. You already own a car. You want to buy another one? Will you? Okay. You already own a car. You want to buy another one. Will you? Yes. Will you? You got it. Yes. Eric, read number. Well, Stephanie, are you there? Yes. Okay. Read number seven. Okay, Jenny hasn't already left. No, she hasn't. Has she? Okay, Jenny. Jenny hasn't. Uh, sorry, hasn't already left. You said letter A, right? Oh, because the part B say no, she hasn't. No, which one do you say? Letter A, B, or C? Uh, a. Has she? Yes, over here. Negative. All right. The last one. Fabricio, read the last one. I need to buy some aspirin. There's a pharmacy nearby. Mm. Isn't there? Isn't there? Isn't there? All right, excellent people. Let's continue with the other part. Yeah, number nine. Excuse me, your name. All right. 
a volunteer to read number nine. Me. Go, Stephanie. Yes, thank Excuse you. Excuse me. Your name is Brad Pitt? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Oops. Isn't it? Your name. Your name is Brad Pitt. Isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Number 10. I'm one of you to read number 10. Your classmates? Your classmates had, had a very good time. Good time at the party. All right. Haven't they? Are you sure? Are you sure? For sure. You said having the day, right? Eric? Yes. Okay, look at this. The verb is in the past form. Had. So, didn't they? Didn't they is the... Is the I'm sorry, I was... I, 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 I thought that was a perfect. I know, I know, I know. I know why you got confused. I understand that. Yes, yes. All right, 11. Mauricio, read 11. Well, tomorrow is Monday, so you'll be at work, won't you? Right, right, excellent, excellent. Tomorrow is Monday, tomorrow is Friday, people, excellent. <laughs> All right, number 12. Ronald, are you there? Yes. Number 12, read number 12. I think Maria grew up in Sydney, then she moved to Melbourne. Um, she moved. Didn't she? Yes. I think Maria grew up in Sydney, then she moved to Melbourne, didn't she? Yes. Didn't she? Moved. Very good, very good. Thank you. Stephanie, are you there? Can you read number 13? Yes. Sarah looked sick yesterday. She won't be at school today. Will she? Exactly, will she? You got it, you got it. Yes. Sarah looked sick yesterday. She won't be at school today. Number 14. Fabricio, read number 14. Hurry or we'll be late. Our flight leaves at 2.45. Won't we? No. <laughs> No. Mm, a little late. Our flight leaves. Doesn't it? Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. It's talking about the flight and not about we. Yes, yes. All right. And the other one is 15. Eric. Okay. Uh, I already like your new hamster. His name is Fussy pants doesn't, uh, is, isn't it? Ah, uh, isn't it, isn't it? You almost got confused, huh? <laughs> isn't it? And the last one, let's see. Ronald? Hello? Um... The last one, number 16. Hey. Okay, hey, there is a new restaurant near or a school. Uh, isn't there? Okay, there's a new restaurant near a school, isn't there? Yes, exactly, you got it. There you go. 
Okay, very good people. Thank you for, for your participation. There's one more example that we're not going to do because we have some time limitations because I wanna help you out with another thing. Remember that we have to complete or work on the platform and have everything completed by Monday. Because Monday we're gonna, well, on Tuesday, we're gonna start the last unit and the last section on the platform. So I urge you guys to work on the platform, on the exercises. And right now I'm going to help you out with the, this one, with the one that, with that questions. Because the other ones are, are kind of easy because it's about terms and definitions. Yes. There's some definitions. Yes. So it says this is a 3.7. On the 3.7, we're going to find uh, some examples, like four, I think, five, actually. Five. It didn't, it didn't aim. I think you did rain over here, right? Rain. It didn't rain. Let's see. Let's take a look. The first one is you want to go on holiday. You want to go on holiday. Guys? Don't you? Right, let me see. Don't you? Wait. It, it sometimes it just takes. No. <laughs> no question. No question mark. I think we no question mark, guys. Take a look. Take a good look at this. Remember, no question mark. Only the tag question, because the question mark is already here. So we're not going to include the question mark in the tag question, okay? Don't forget, don't forget. Charles will help us. Guys, Charles will help us. One, he. Uh -huh, there you go, want, he. Again, don't include the question mark because it won't be, but let's take a look because we never, we never know, we never know. Okay, there you go. It is working. It is working. Number three, Mary has a little, has a little lamb. What is lamb, by the way? Do you know what lamp is? Cordero. It's not lampara. It's not lampara, okay? <laughs> what is it, Fabricio? Cordero. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, that's what it is. Hasn't she? No. Doesn't she? Which one? Doesn't she? Uh -huh. I heard hasn't he. Uh, hasn't yes. He. Hasn't <laughs> he. Yes, hasn't I, he. I said that. Okay, there you go. Hasn't, doesn't, she. Let's check. Gotta check because we know, we never know. Well. Okay, there you go. Perfect. She wasn't surprised. Was she? Stephanie is on fire today. <laughs> You're on fire today. Let's see. Let's mm -hmm. check. Correct. Yes. And the last one, it didn't rain. It rain, not ain. It says ain over here. Ain doesn't mean anything. It didn't rain. Did it? Did it? Yes. Did it? Wow. Oh Stephanie. my goodness. Yes. Yes, and Stefan, it's the Stephanie's day. <laughs> All right, look. Yes, you got to celebrate. Very good, very good. You got it, because they were confused at yesterday, I think. Okay. Okay, I think this one is the only one. Then we got uh, the 3.9. Uh, this one, we haven't seen it yet. We haven't studied the grammar topic yet. We're going to see it on, on, uh, on Monday about something, anything, anywhere. Somewhere, nothing, anybody, any, anyone, someone, somebody, no one, nobody, all of those words, we're going to practice them on Monday, yes. And about 3.1, it's a definition of this. 
Honestly, I don't know. Let's take. Let's let's see. Practice of increasing the quantity and quality of traffic to your website through organic, through organic, through organic. That's it. We got website design, search engine optimization, social media advertising, social media management, and content marketing. Practice increasing the quantity and quality of traffic to your website through organic. That is organic people is that it look at these ones process of creating valuable free content of prospects and converting well, we haven't seen these definitions I haven't seen them all right but it's kind of easy you gotta select the correct one work on it these ones are also for uh, choosing the right definition, right? Take a look at it. And uh, number three, we already did it, 3.5. We already can. Oh no, more definitions, more definitions. And uh, 3.4, seven actually, is the one that we finished, all right? Yes, very good. Do you guys have any last questions? Do you have any last questions? It's clear at the moment. Everything is clear? Yes, teacher. All right, all right. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna take uh, attendance. Or updated for us to go. All right, let me see. We got on a drive. Donald, see. Okay. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva was not here. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. Present. Thank you. Emerson was not here today. Eric Enrique Reyes. I'm here. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Julissa Vialta was not here today. Carla Ivania Anaya. And we got Katia Maria Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you, Magdile Saúl Garcia. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. We got Mario Ernesto Ramírez. We've got uh, Mauricio Edgardo Soriano. I'm here. Yes, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. We've got Raúl Muñoz del Cid. And Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Thank you guys for uh for letting me know. Present. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Got it. Guys, we have finished. We have reached the ending of the session. Uh. Well, I will see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Have a blast. Go have fun. Enjoy with your family, with your friends. For anybody around you, be careful, watch out, watch your steps, and uh, well, see you Monday, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good night, all of you. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Good night. Weekend. Night here. See you on Monday, everyone. Be careful with crazy water. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> yes.
All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to continue working with the tag questions. On this exercise, I will show you how to find the mistakes and how to identify mistakes using tag questions. All right, we got an example over here. Number one, they live in San Francisco. And uh, the wrong thing here is the auxiliary. Because we're using a simple present right here, live, the simple present. So we gotta use the we gotta use uh the, the auxiliary for simple present. In this case, is auxiliary is done, right? Let me change the color. So this one better, better. All right. Then we have he didn't buy the shears, did they? You gotta, you gotta be careful and take a good look at the auxiliary that we're using the sentence or the structure of the sentence as well as the subject. As you can see, the subject that we have in the statement and the subject that we have in uh, in the tag question they do not match. This means that the that the auxiliary of sorry the the, the subject is incorrect. So the subject that we have to use over here is he, not they. Let's continue with number three. It says there, we are late. And then we have, do we? Do we? We got the auxiliary, the, the subject is correct because we have we and we, but the auxiliary that we're using here is are. Well, not, not it's a verb, but it's the auxiliary. So the auxiliaries that we have don't match. They don't match, so one of them is incorrect. So the tag, the auxiliary in the tag question is incorrect. Yes, we gotta change do. Excuse me. We gotta change do to aren't. To aren't, yes, that's the auxiliary that we need there. We are late, aren't we? Yes. Now we have number four. It's number four, he can't swim. Does he? He can't swim. If you take a look, we have the auxiliary he and we got the auxiliary he, so they match, they are correct. We got the auxiliary subject, sorry, subject he and he. We have the auxiliary can't and the auxiliary does and they don't match. So the one that we have in the tag question is incorrect. It should be can he. Can he. Yes, this is the one. Not does, all right? Number five, she was a student. Isn't she? Isn't she? We have she, which is the subject, and she in the tag question, they are correct, they match. But let's take a look at the auxiliary, how was and isn't. They don't match. So this means the auxiliary that we have in the tag question is incorrect. We got to change it to the past form. It is negative. Yes, it is negative. It is was. It's the past form of isn't. Thomas saw a movie, wasn't he? Okay, we got Thomas and we got he, they match. They do match. So is simple past. Wasn't is also simple past or past progressive. But the problem here is that we, uh, we cannot mix the verb be with other verbs when we're talking about simple past. Yes, the auxiliary for simple past is did, or if it is negative, didn't, right? So let's change the auxiliary. Sorry, let's change this one. Wasn't is incorrect. Let's change it to didn't. There you go, didn't. Let me see. 
Number seven, he couldn't answer the question, did he? He couldn't answer the question, did he? We got he and he, they match, no problems. Couldn't is the auxiliary and did is the auxiliary. These two auxiliaries do not match whatsoever. So we gotta change one of them. The one that is incorrect is did. We have to use could he or could. Number eight, Mr. Smith wa were late, wasn't he? Hold on, Mr. Smith. Well, this one uh, word is incorrect. <laughs> the rest is fine. Yeah, let me see what this one is incorrect. It should be was. Should be was. Wasn't he is correct. Mr. Smith was late, wasn't he? All right, we got it. Number nine, they had dinner. Were they? Had is the past form. Where is also past form with adjectives or descriptions, not with verbs. So where is incorrect. Yes. The red one over here is did didn't they right? Number ten. Your sister bought a new house, didn't it? Your sister bought a new house, didn't it? Okay, we got didn't is 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 uh correct. Let me just match them. We got bought in the past form, affirmative statement, and we got didn't uh the tag question negative, so it is correct. It is correct. Let's take a look at the subject. The subject over here is it, and the subject over here is your sister. So the subject is she. And the tag question and the, the subject in the tag question is it, so they don't match. This means the subject in the tag question is incorrect. It should be she. Did didn't she? All right. You don't exercise, don't you? We have double negative, as you can see. That one is pretty pretty noticeable. Do is the 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 correction over here and uh, don't is the incorrect part right there. Don't. And we have number number twelve. It's it's three o'clock. RNA. It's and it they are correct. But as you can see, they are it is contracted. We're using the verb be is, and we're using the verb be are, aren't in this case, so they don't match. This means that aren't is incorrect. It should be isn't. Number 13, she is your friend, don't she? She is your friend, don't she? Well, to begin with, don't is incorrect because we don't use don't with she. We use doesn't or does with she. But the auxiliary that we're using is is, so this means this auxiliary is incorrect. It should be isn't she. Isn't she. Isn't she. Yes, there you go. Let me mark it right there. What? Oops, so sorry. He is from Canada, isn't it? He is from Canada, isn't it? The auxiliary is, or the verb be is, and the verb be, or the auxiliary in the tag question, they are correct, they match. But the subjects don't match. He and it, they don't match. So this it is incorrect. It should be he. Number 15. Your father doesn't drink tea, is he? Well, we're not using is in the statement. We're using doesn't. So we have to use the opposite of does. And the opposite of, excuse me, the opposite of doesn't. And the opposite of doesn't is does. 
thus u, right? Now, hold on. The other one, they already started their class, don't they? We're, we're dealing with simple past, so this means the auxiliary has to be in the past form. The subjects are direct, but not the, the there is no subject above, well, there is no tense agreement. There is no tense agreement. Don't, should not be here, it should be didn't they? Didn't they, all right? Guys, uh, you, you have to continue practicing that questions. It's a very useful topic and it is interesting. It's good to know a little bit about this, right? In order for you to understand it better, it's that you have to practice a lot, all right? Yes. Okay, I will see you in the next session. Take care.